Juggernaut Eagle XD 29er. Great bike. Speed. Power. Performance. Very well made bike. Very, very good. It is 10 minutes to five. <clears throat> I wasn't gonna go today, but I just happened to get up. Only had time for one cup of coffee. I've got another cup of coffee up there waiting for me. But I'll, I'll have it when I get back. I'm only going to be gone for about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half tops. I apologize for yesterday. Some of the... Uh, some of the sh camera shots were too low it's a case of uh, inadvertently hitting the camera and knocking it low I guess for whatever the case may be no helmet today bike helmets are for sissies so you should tell my son. <laughs> That's what I used to tell my son. Bike helmets are for sissies. I don't know, dudes. When you ride a 900-pound Harley Davidson. gone to Sturgis many times and every state between here and Sturgis is a helmetless state except for Nevada all of them are Idaho Wyoming Colorado Montana Utah Arizona you don't have to wear a helmet, and I do not wear one, generally speaking. Because I'm not a sissy, that's why. Oh. Although, it's just so warm, it's nice to not wear one occasionally. Make sure my my uh, pocket. I've got a zipped pocket on this uh, belly band holster of mine that holds my Walther PPK, and I would s stuff my cell phone in that pocket, and it, it worked out good. But the pocket is <clears throat> starting to rip, so I can't do that anymore. So uh, all all I can put in there is almost nothing. So I, I have my cell phone in my s blue side sling pack now.
kicking ass and taking names, kids. One rider at a time. Oh. Remember I, I told you the mosquitoes would be gone? They're gone. The, the heat. The heat kills them. Now, I'm sure they're close close to water water bodies still, but out in the general areas of Vegas, they've been killed for the most part. I'm hitting on all cylinders this morning. I let me see that angle. I guess that's good. I, I guess. Ow. I, I would guess that too high is better than too low, huh? I'll raise it up a little bit. I don't know how we got knocked low yesterday you know what I'm saying there was a there was some footage that it you could only see my feet per se <sighs> too high is better than too low let me open up my hydration pack <sighs> done another beautiful morning it's just I, I can't believe a week went by already I, I, since the garbage day the garbage people had left a few uh, unpicked up garbage cans and I called them up and said get your asses back over here and pick up these goddamn cans in so many words and they did There was, it was bolt day last week, and I had a couple of bolt bait garbage cans out there. And uh, they didn't pick them up, but they... Make sure I got that. Kung Fu. He doesn't get here till daylight. I'm gonna yell light out to him when I go by. Hey, Kung Fu Pete! this morning just kicking it doing it I don't want to get going too fast guys I need to drop it down into say power band number three I was in number four. I don't want to go real fast. I just want to, I want to enjoy the moment, so to speak, guys. 
Does that make sense? You're good, I'll wait till we get to the end. bunch of garbage in the landscape uh, front palm tree fronds I gotta throw in the garbage I, I'll try to do it when I get back it won't take me but maybe five to ten minutes to fill up two garbage cans and get them out street side and get rid of that shit it'll take me ten minutes to fill them up and get them street side. Boy, this 29er, man, this, this bike is as smooth as butter. Dudes, this is the equivalent this is pretty much the equivalent of dry, riding a 29 inch wheel dirt bike. Essentially, just as smooth as butter. Yeah, there were, I was, uh, I'm watching these, uh, you know, hunting episodes on uh, YouTube. And uh, I, this, there's this one group that does pretty good movies. And... They have some good, they're, they, they're kind of blown up. They become kind of popular. And if you don't become popular, you don't become harassed. But these guys are popular. So the US Forest Service, anybody that really does good on the YouTube channel with their movies, the US Forest Service wants a piece of the pie. They, to film on U.S. Forest Service land, you must submit an application, $75, and you must pay a one to 10 people on set, on your filming crew, you have to pay 300 bucks a day, give or take. I'm just giving you generalizations. If it's more than that, then you have to pay more per day. So these guys now, because they have blown up on YouTube doing their um, hunt videos, they have to pay the 300 bucks a day to do filming, you know what I'm saying? You know, you could probably cheat on that a little bit, you know, like, 
you could go on a five day hunt and say you only did three days. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> don't. You can shut the cameras off for a day, in theory, you know what I mean? So you could go on a five day hunt, but you are only paying three days. I, you, they might, look, might check in on you too, who knows? But <laughs> the US Forest Service wants money. Which means the US government. Now, you, the U.S. Forest Service doesn't bother people that say, like, if I were to put a video videos on YouTube, they wouldn't bother me unless I blew up. You know, say where I had hundreds of thousand, you know, six hundred thousand views and shit like that. The king of. Uh, of the videos, of course, is uh, Steven Ranello. He's got two, generally speaking, he has two guys on the camera. And he has <laughs> Usually there's him and another hunter can be two hunters. I mean, he's he's into big bucks, brother. He with the with his meat eater series, he's the king of the people that do that shit. You know, he gets he, he's got a, a million and a half subscribers. He gets a million and a half views every time he pops a video out. A, a good one. I don't know how his spear fishing videos do or anything like that, but I do watch his hunting videos. I watched a couple of them yesterday. Beautiful country in, in uh, Idaho doing a mule deer hunt. The only thing I don't like about his videos is the uh, advertisements on his videos. You can't skip them. They, they. <laughs> you have to. You have to watch them. <laughs> you can't turn them. You know, s skip the uh, ad. Click on that little icon down in the corner to skip. They run the full length. That's why he makes good money. You know, and people watch his videos still, even though they have to watch the ads, complete ad. He puts out some good videos. He's got some good uh, uh, cameramen and, sh and shit. I, I think, uh, you know, one of his hunting buddies is a cameraman too. And producer, you know, puts money into the show. Fellow hunter, a really, a really good hunter himself. You know, every, everybody, a lot of hunters try to do the, uh, film the, uh, action and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But very few put out a product like, uh, Steven Ranello. Oh, oh, the, uh, the guys that are kind of blowing up a little bit are Gritty. They're called Gritty, something or other. I mean, if you look them up, if you start typing in gritty, they'll, their videos will come up. I mean, they're getting better. They're, they do some mule deer hunts. Yeah, we had Steven Ranello, you know, pop a mule deer from four, 390 yards away yesterday on his video stalked them, um, snuck up on them. Um, uh, not, not really a big fan of uh, shooting at a deer from 390 yards away. The good shot. But they all have their 
gun sighted in for 300 yards more than likely and uh, a 400 yard shot there's approximately nine inches of fall in the bullet give or take you know what I'm saying approximation just to give you an idea pretty easy shot per se in the real world that's just about where you would you, you know you wouldn't try anything much farther than that because you're pretty much shoot, shooting darts at a board although there are hunters that do shots if you do a misplaced shot you can ruin the meat so um, you know Steven Ranello he maxes out his shot at 400 yards he won't shoot anything farther than that otherwise he'll have to close the distance in the real world that's pretty much where you want to max out. Now, I'm not a big fan of, of shooting at an animal from 400 yards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, an animal that's been sleeping for whatever, and, and then he gets up and that's, that was actually the gritty, gritty stock. The, the boys on, on the gritty video, they stocked a, um, a mule deer, I think it was a mule deer. Yeah, mule deer. Some beautiful animals. Very, uh, very good looking mule deer. But they did a stock and it was freezing out and they were stuck in the wind, laying on their belly. You know, the deer was sleeping for two hours on the ground. You, you could see the deer nodding off and his head was on the ground, he was sleeping. And they didn't want to shoot it when it was laying down. They wanted to uh, shoot it when it stood up. And that's what they did. They waited until it stood up and then they popped it. And, and both that deer and the one that Steven Ranello stocked, they both dropped like instantly. Didn't go in. They hit him. They did perfect shots. The gritty uh, guys, they shot, shot it above the heart to the left, right through the liver. I guess it kills quicker than only with bullets though, not with arrows. I don't know exactly where Steve shot, either the heart or that liver that I just told you. With a rifle, I guess it's a better shot to shoot the liver, which is located above the heart to the left a little bit. They pretty much die instantly. Hydrostatic shock, boom. Not a big fan of, uh, you know, sneaking up on an animal and shooting it for 400 yards away or 300 yards. I'm more of a fan of stalking an animal with a, with a compound bowl. That is a sporty way to, to uh, get it, kill an animal for dinner. Then there's a, there was a uh, a group of younger guys. I'd say uh, they were probably all around 30 years old, give or take. I, I don't remember the name of their their channel. I think it was um, it's like the homegrown group or something like that, or it's something of that nature. But anyways, there was like six guys on this particular trip. It, it, I believe it's just the three guys that have the channel, but they had three of their buddies with them that day. And uh, they were filming and they did, they hiked out 13 miles to this area to hunt. And uh, they scored themselves a giant moose. 
and they all had to pack that meat out 13 miles. Now these are younger kids, probably a little under 30 I'd say. And they had a chance. They had a chance to pay somebody with horses to pack out their meat for them. And remember, this is about a 14 mile pack out. This is a 14 mile pack out, gentlemen. That's not chopped liver. Although there were six of them. So they were able to minimize the weight of the load. And these are, you know, 30 year old guys. But they were all they elected to just pack it out themselves. They could have paid the extra money. Funds are a little short when you're 29, 30 years old, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they elected to pack it out themselves. They made it, but the numbers were not good. They did 14 miles in 13 hours. You know, they took a lot of breaks. I would have paid the money to pack out. As a matter of fact, I would have had that packer with the horses on speed dial. I, you know, I would have to. <laughs> if I were to hunt in an area like that, I would have a guy that I could call that will come out there with his horses and pack that stuff out for me or I would take a string of llamas with me if I knew the area real good and I knew I was going to get a kill. I don't know where they were hunting, but uh, they were bull hunting too, by the way. Very uh, sporty, very sporty way to hunt. If, if you can kill a mule deer or a or a uh, elk with a bow. That's sport. In its purest form, sport. I can live with that. But plinking off a caribou at, at 200 yards and plinking them off and then turning around and laughing with your buddies. Oh, where's the sport in that? Or plinking a mule deer that's been sleeping for two hours and he gets up and you at, I think that shot there at Gritty was, I forget how far it was. It was about 200 yards, I think. I don't know, man. I, I don't. I think I'll stick. I'll stick to the bow hunting if I were to do it. I, I don't think I would be able. I don't. I wouldn't want to shoot hunt like that. You know, shoot a shoot something from far away like that. These guys are experts, though. Keep in mind, you know, when Stephen Ranello and when he pops that mule deer out there, you've got two cameramen and two hunters that can pack out that mule deer. Now, a mule deer is small. That's a very light load for everybody. You know, probably 60 pounds each, maybe 50 of meat. 
GoPro, stop recording.